Uh, team. Today, inshallah, senior one, we continue our discussion in biology about the abnormal cases in, a, uh, in chromosomes. Chromosomal abnormal cases, genetic um, mutation may happen. Chromosomes may increase in some people and may decrease in some people. That there is a change in the number. If there is a change in the number of chromosomes, as you, you have studied in the last session here, Lyme filter syndrome happens when one chromosome of the sex chromosome increases. One X chromosome increases. So we have now a Lyme filter syndrome. It is abnormal female. Uh, it is an abnormal male because it has the six chromosomes, not one pair, but they are three single chromosomes, two pair, two, one pair of X, one, two X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So we have here not uh, 46 chromosome in total, but we have so 47 chromosome. The presence of extra X chromosome here, in this case, the, the boy or the Klemfelter syndrome uh, individual suffers from some complications, uh, such as the tallness and uh, some feminine characteristics, such as the, 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 the it cannot uh, make semen, it cannot make, uh, um, uh, it cannot make the uh, sperms, the tests can, cannot be able to make the sperms, and it has some feminine characteristics. Because the extra X chromosome has extra hormones, extra female hormones, so it suffers from a, some syndrome called Klemfelter uh, syndrome. And also we have studied if there is a deficiency or a, a, a lack of one chromosome, in this case, like we have here a female which has one X chromosome only, which is called Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome has not 46 chromosomes, but 45 chromosomes. The normal female has double X chromosome. The sex chromosomes are XX, but this is abnormal female because, a, because it has one X chromosome and the other chromosome is a absent. The other chromosome is absent. So we have here uh, some uh, problems or some uh, symptoms of the Turner syndrome, such as a female which doesn't reach the puberty, uh, short in tall in, in the lens, short, its body is short, and it has uh, some problems in the kidney and the heart, congenital defects in the heart and the kidney. This is the Turner syndrome due to the a, the absence of one X chromosome. Here we have another case, which is called Down syndrome. Down syndrome. In this case, Down syndrome, the problem or the extra chromosome is not X, or not a, a, a six chromosome, but it is an autosome. It is an autosome. Chromosomes here, pair number 21, has one extra chromosome. It is not one pair, but they are triple chromosomes, not one pair. The chromosome number, uh, pair number 21. It is an autosome, not a six chromosome. The six chromosome is normal, X, Y. So it is a boy, a male. And maybe the, the Down syndrome may be a female. If it, she has a double X chromosome in the pair number 23. So Down syndrome can, can uh, be a male or also can be a female because the problem or the extra chromosome, not in the sixth chromosome, but in the autosomes, autosome number uh, 21. Pair number 21 has extra chromosome. So the total number of chromosomes will not be 46, but it will be 47, like uh, what case, like Klinefelter case. But uh, in case in Klinefelter, the extra chromosome here, X, in the uh, last pair, or the, in the pair number 23. But here we have in Down syndrome, the extra chromosome found in pair number 21. So we have Down syndrome, maybe a male and maybe a female. Remember, Klinefelter always a male and the terminal always a female, but Down syndrome, maybe a male and maybe a female. We can see Down syndrome, a male Down syndrome, and we can see a female Down syndrome. As you see here, her face 
is not normal face. The eyes are very narrow. The head is flat from the back and the round, the face is round. And the, the, the lens is very short and it may be fat. And the, the fingers are not tall and it has mental retardation. It is not very small. Okay, Down syndrome has many complications due to the syndrome, the extra chromosome in pair number 21. What are the characteristics of this uh, case, Down syndrome? Here, uh, in the year of 1866, in the year of 1866, British doctor called Down has discovered this case. It resulted due to the fertilization of abnormal gamete, a sperm or ovum, carries a pair of chromosome number 21. The in gamete has one chromosome only. Every chromosome in, uh, in the gamete are single, but here we have double chromosome in pair number 21. It may be a sperm or an ovum. So the child will have two chromosomes in the pair number 21 from the, the abnormal sperm or ovum and one chromosome from the other a gamete. So it will have three chromosomes in the pair number 21. In this case, there is an extra chromosome. It is a, a, an extra chromosome in autosomes, not in the six chromosomes. The extra chromosome here is autosome, not six chromosome like Klemfelter and Turner. The child may be a boy or a girl. May, she, uh, he may be a boy uh, and it, uh, he will have karyotype 45 plus XY. You remember the normal one has 44 plus XY. The normal male 44 plus XY. So the extra chromosome here in autosomes, not in the six chromosome. And the female will be a Down syndrome female if she has an extra chromosome, uh, chromosome in the uh, autosomes, it will be, or uh, she will be 45 plus XX. The normal female has 44 plus XX. The extra chromosome here in a, the autosome number, pair number 21. Uh, the Down syndrome suffer from what? Suffers from retarded growth, shortness, oval face, Flat back of the head. Fingers and toes are short. Fingers are short. The hand fingers uh, and the leg fingers are short. Small ears, uh, convex eyes, and the narrow eyes, mental retardation. It is not, uh, she is not smart, or, or he is not smart. He may, he may reach 40 years old, but his uh, mind is not more than 10 years old. This is the case of a Down syndrome. Let's watch a video about it, then we continue. Which we'll watch a video about Down syndrome together. Watch this video about Down syndrome. This cell and its daughter cells will be affected. If a mutation happens in a sex cell or gamete and fertilization happens, then all of the cells of the embryo or Here an embryo is formed from fertilization between the ovum and the sperm. If one of the gametes, ovum or sperm are abnormal, it will be for, uh, she will, uh, it will, it will make an abnormal uh, embryo. The embryo will have extra chromosome. So he will be an abnormal person due to the extra chromosome uh, in his karyotype, in his cell, uh, hereditary subs. Fetus and a baby will carry this mutation. This is what happens in Down syndrome. Humans usually have 23 pairs of chromosomes, 46 in total, 44 autosomes and two sex chromosomes sex here we have the normal person the normal person has what 44 autosomes and the two sex chromosomes 
the two sex chromosomes may be X and X, and it will be a male or a female. Female. Female, of course. And it may be X and Y, and it, it will be a male, okay? The problem happened here, the problem have to occur here in the pair number 21. The normal person has one pair only of chromosomes in the pair number 21. But the Down syndrome has extra chromosome here. The Down syndrome has extra chromosome here. There is an extra chromosome here. So it will be three chromosomes in, a, in the pair number 21. So this is a Down syndrome. If he has uh, one extra chromosome and the XX, he, he will have he will be a female Down syndrome. If he it was extra chromosome and the y, XY, he will be a male Down syndrome. Continue. Cells are produced in a type of cell division called meiosis or reduction division. In humans, meiosis produces four daughter cells that each have 23 chromosomes, half the number of a somatic cell. However, sometimes the chromosomes are not separated or divided up how they should be, and this is called non-disjunction. One example: the normal case in meiosis, the cell, the normal cell has is a normal gamete will have a single chromosome, two single chromosome here, uh, one uh, group of single chromosomes. But if there is three chromosome here, this means there is an extra chromosome. If I have one here in this gamete, this means that it has a list of one chromosome. So this is normal, this is normal, and these two are abnormal. Example of non-disjunction in humans is the condition known as Down syndrome. In this case, the 21st chromosome fails to segregate, and the gamete produced possesses 24 chromosomes. 23 plus an extra copy of chromosome 21. The fusion of this gamete with a normal one results in the offspring having 47 chromosomes. So what are the consequences of having an extra chromosome for people with chromosomes? So what Here, as you see, there is an extra A chromosome in pair number 21. In this case, the total number of chromosomes will not be 46, it will be 47. And the extra chromosome here, not in the sex chromosome, but in the autosome. So it is different from Klein-Filter syndrome. So what are the consequences of having an extra chromosome for people with Down syndrome? Well, the difficulties vary in severity. Facial characteristic can include a flattened, broadened face and narrowed eyes. But people with Down syndrome don't all look the same. They also look like their parents and family. People with Down syndrome may have a lower than average IQ and a shorter than average life expectancy. Some conditions more common the Down syndrome case, the, the, the boy or the girl of Down syndrome has learning difficulties. He's not smart. He is not smart or she is not smart. She is not smart like her a school, a classmate or schoolmate. Shorten, uh, short, shorter than average uh, in the average tallness. Short in the average tallness. And life expectancy. Common in people with Down syndrome include problems with the heart and bowel, difficulties with hearing and vision, and a higher risk of infections. Problems with the heart and the bowel, in the stomach, the small intestine, and the heart, there is some problems. Difficulties with hearing and vision, in the hearing sense and vision sense, some problems. Higher risk of infection of... However, everybody who has Down disease. syndrome may be affected in different ways. Pablo Pineda, for example, a Spanish actor who won a Silver Shell Award in the San Sebastian Film Festival, was also the first person with Down syndrome in Europe to get a university degree. He now has two. Non-disjunction does occur with other chromosomes, but these usually result in miscarriage. This is less likely to happen with a 21st chromosome because it is relatively small. The Down syndrome mutation appears to occur in the production of ova rather than sperm and its incidence increases with the age of the mother. The chance increases from approximately one in several thousand in a teenage mother to one in a hundred in a 40-year-old mother. In some countries, maybe the reason, maybe many reasons of this uh, case, 
Down syndrome, the mutation may happen to the gametes uh, due to exposure to uh, chemicals, exposure to drugs, exposure to uh, smoking, exposure to radiation. Maybe many reasons cause the Down syndrome. And the old age mo mothers also one reason, the old age mother has these problems uh, more than the, the normal age mother. So the pregnancy after uh, age of 40 is not good due to these cases may happen more in the mothers which are more than 40 years old. So it is better to give birth and pregnant before this age, before the age of 40. So this is all about the uh, Down syndrome. And we have here another case Another uh, part of our lesson we have uh, to study six linked traits. Six linked traits. About six linked traits, if we want to talk about the six linked traits, we have to know that the genes responsible for appearance of hereditary traits, the hereditary trait is controlled by genes. Hereditary traits are controlled by genes. If you remember, genes are part of DNA. Genes are part of DNA and they carry it on the chromosome. Every chromosome carry hundreds of genes, maybe thousands of genes in each chromosome. And there is a doctor, a scientist, discovered that there is some traits are not inherited like Mendelian traits. They are different from Mendelian traits. And he called them the six-linked traits. The scientists discovered that the genes of some body characteristics in many animals are located in the six chromosome X and Y, and called six-linked characteristics. So why they are called it six-linked traits? Why they call these traits like this? Because the genes of these traits are not carried on the autosome. This, the genes of these traits are carried on the six chromosome X or Y, especially X. So it is a normal trait. It is an, uh, like the eye color, for example. The eye color is a character or a, not related to the sex. So it's a gene expected to be carried on autosomes, not on the sex chromosome. The sex chromosomes, we remember that, carry the genes responsible for the appearance of the sex traits or sex characteristics. But here we have a trait, which is a normal trait, and like the eye color, the hair color, the skin color. But the gene is not carried on the autosome, but the gene is carried on the X chromosome, the six chromosome X. So the gene here is carried on the six chromosome, so we call it six linked trait. You do the gene of this trait is carried on the six chromosome. The gene of this trait is not carried on the autosome, but it is carried on the six chromosome. Like here we have, for example, the eye color of the Drosophila insect. Hashara is Mahat Drosophila or Zubabit al And discover that the eye color of the, this uh, insect is not inherited by, by Mendelian inheritance. It has some differences from Mendelian inheritance. Why? And they call this case a six linked trait. We'll see now. The scientist Morgan, scientist called Morgan, make this experiment on the Drosophila plant, uh, the Drosophila insect. On studying this Drosophila insect, the eye color, he crossed a white color eye with a red colored eye. A white color eye male with a red color eye female. So which color is dominant and which color is recessive? We'll see now. The dominant color 
we'll see that the red color is dominant and the white color is recessive. But we will say, we'll see now the difference from Mendelian inheritance. We have here a red color female eye, red eye female, and the white eye male. We have XX here. We have X, X here, the sex chromosome carry the gene of the color of the eye, which are cavity. And here there is XY. We have XY. X only carry this gene, but Y doesn't carry this gene. So we have one R small here only. So the male here has one gene only, which is R small. There is no genes on the Y chromosome. The, the, the gene of this trait is carried only on the X chromosome, not carried on Y chromosome. Y chromosome doesn't carry this gene. So if we have a male, if it has X, uh, our capital, it will, uh, the, the eye color will be red. If uh, he has X and R small, it will be white. So he has white eye because he has X carry R small or carry the white gene the white eye gene, and here the female carry two genes, not one gene only, because it ha she has two X chromosomes. So the male carry one gene only, but the female carry two genes. Okay, when we're making gametes, here we have X R capital, X R capital, so we have one possibility. We have one possibility. We have one possibility only, X R capital. There is no other possibilities, X, R, cavity. And we have here, X, R, small, this is one possibility in the male sperms, and Y, which it doesn't carry the gene of the eye color, because this gene is carried only on the X chromosome. The result, F1, will be what? The result will be what? The result will be maybe male and maybe female. The female, here we have the female, we have X are capital and X are small. This is a male or a female? A female. R capital and R small. Which is dominant, R capital or R small? R, R, R. Uh, the red color or the white color? The red. Red color. Red R. Red R. Okay. Male or female? Female. Female. Okay. But we have here, we have here a male with what? X, R capital, and Y. It is I capital. R capital. Uh, so a, a, a male uh, or a first, it, it is red or white? Red. Red eye or white eye? Red eye, male or female? Male. male. Red eye, male. Okay. So now we have percentage of 50%, 100% uh, of red color. And 50% males and 50% females. Okay. This is the first generation, F1. Look at the second generation. And we'll see why there is difference between Mendel and this case, the six-linked tree. If we make crossing between these two red-eyed, male and female, what is the result? We'll see now. The result here, if we make gametes, we have R capital and R small. And we have here R capitals, uh, X R capital, and Y doesn't carry a, any gene of the eye color. The possibilities will be R capital, R capital, of course, carried on X. R capital, R small, carried on X also. And uh, we have here uh, our uh, capital Y and our small Y, okay? 
the result will be three red, as you see here, it is red color, red color, because there is our capital, red color. And the last one here is a white. But the white color is also a male. The white color is always a male. Okay? But the red color are female or male. Male or female has red color. But the white color are only a male. So there is no female carry the white color. The percentage is 3 to 1 like men. 3 red. I may be male or female, may be male or female, but, but the male, the, the last, it says the percentage of the white eye, one only, uh, white, but it is always male, it is always a male, so the difference here between this case and Mendelian inheritance, that uh, their percentage is three to one, three red eye and one white eye. But here, the, the difference here, the white eye is always male, but the red eye may be male or female. This is the difference here in this case, different from Mendelian inheritance. So they call it a, a six linked trait. the white, Always a male doesn't, it, there is no female with white eye. There is no female with white eye in the second generation F2. Okay, so it is only males which carry the white eye or uh, the color of white eye in this instance. So we call this case six linked traits. Okay, so it is similar, the percentage is similar to Mendel, but the difference here. The difference in what? The difference in uh, who carry the 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 the, 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 the recessive trait. The one which carry the recessive trait is always a male, not a female. So it is different from Mendelian inherit. Morgan, the scientist Morgan, noticed that when a white eye male of Drosophila. We are crossed with a red eye female as we make. The members of the first generation have red eye. All of them have red eye. 50% male and 50% female, but they have red eye. The female has two genes of the red eye, but the male has one gene only because the Y chromosome doesn't carry any gene. This means that the red eye characteristic is dominant over the white eye, because all the generation is red eye, so the red eye is dark. When, when in the members of the first generation were crossed with each other, the red eye and the white eye and six appear in the second generation by ratio three to one respective. Now it is normal or not normal, like Mendel or not like Mendel. It is like Mendel, but it was a difference between this case and Mendelian inheritance. Why? This case may be considered Mendelian inheritance if the percentage e for male and female is equal, but the character characteristics uh, of he, unless he observation telling white eye insects were only male. There is no white eye female at all. There are only male with white eye. This can make men, uh, Morgan explain these genes in a case of six linked and they explain that the gene of the eye of the color is carried on the uh, X chromosome and the Y chromosome doesn't carry this A gene. They give this case six linked characteristic. So it is different from Mendel. Six linked characteristics, different from Mendel. So therefore Morgan considered that the eye color of Drosophila insect is a six linked characteristic type. Here, is there any six linked characteristic in the human? Yes, of course, there is some six linked characteristics in the human. Like what? In the human, the chromosome X carries 
the, the gene responsible for some body characteristics, such as hemophilia. Hemophilia. Marad big if it's And blindness, or suited to them. Hemophilia, the marad suited to them. Color blindness, or amal alwan. Short sightedness, qisar uh, al nazar. And muscle atrophy, no amal anwa, dumur al adala. This uh, case is affected by a gene carried on the X chromosome. So it is considered as six linked characteristics in the human. Hemophilia, suited them, color blindness, amal alwan, short sightedness, this are another, and the muscle atrophy, no amal anwa, dumur al adala. The father passes the gene of this trait to his daughters. Then uh, carried on X, not uh, on Y. It, she, he doesn't pass it to the uh, boys or to his kids, to male kids. It passes only the gene to the daughters, which because the, the gene is carried on the X chromosome only, not on the Y chromosome. The color of blindness in the human, as an example of this case, condition of color blindness caused by a recessive gene carried on the X chromosome. That gene causes the inability to distinguish between colors, especially the red and the green. The red and the green. The red color and the green color. Some people cannot distinguish between red and the green. They have a problem in these eight uh, colors. We have a problem here. We have an example here in genetic inheritance. They have a problem in this case. The opposite genetic analysis shows the inheritance of the color blindness in the human. We can see here a case of color blindness carried on the X chromosome only, doesn't carry on the Y chromosome. And it is a recessive gene. A recessive gene, not dominant gene. So here we have a healthy mother. Can you see capital C capital? And the sick father has a color blindness. It has she he has X uh, C small. C small means that he has a, a color blindness. Sick father. But the mother has C capital C capital. She is healthy. Now the father will pass the genes, the, this gene, this small, to his daughters only, not to his boys. As we see here, the gametes are formed X capital, C capital, X capital. And we have X, C small, and Y. If uh, this uh, gamete comes with this gamete, it will be X, C capital, X, C small. She is a healthy female because the, the gene of the color blindness is a recessive. This small is a recessive, so she is healthy, female. And the other uh, possibility, X cap uh, C capital comes with Y, healthy also, X cap C capital Y, healthy male. The boy here is healthy. But this female, if married another man with, with the same uh, genetic structure like her father, if this uh, female, like this, and uh, the, their, their daughter will carry two C small. Uh, if here this female had uh, married a man like her father in genetic structure, so she has C capital C small, and the father has C small. He is she is not sick. She has no color blindness. But the daughters, maybe her daughters will carry uh, two C small, and she maybe. Uh, the daughter uh, of this uh, married will be the daughters will carry the gene of the color blindness, two small genes and two, uh, two C small or two uh, recessive genes. So maybe the daughters will carry the color blindness disease. The six linked traits is represented by single gene found only on the male because. The chromosome Y doesn't carry the color blindness and the color blindness gene. 
and it is represented by one pair of genes in the female due to the presence of one pair of X chromosomes, double X. So the male has one only. So he will be sick, has color blindness, if he has one only recessive gene. If he has one C small only, he will be sick. But the female, is, if she has one C small and one C capital, she will not be sick. Okay? So the percentage of male may be carry, having uh, color blind or be more than uh, the female which carry this a uh, genetic case or the genetic disease. The male doesn't pass straight to his sons, but only passes it to his, his daughter. He passes the chromosome Y to his son, to the son, and the a Y chromosome doesn't have the gene. Uh, the male passes the uh, straight to his granddaughters. As we see here, his daughter carry uh, the gene, but is, she is not sick. But maybe his granddaughter becomes sick from the the, the grandfather. Comes this gene come from the grandfather, and the mother passes the trait to her sons and daughters. The mother, if she is sick, sick. If you ha she has two double uh, C small daughters and uh, boys, sons, may have these genes and may have this disease from the mother. So finally, we get to the end of this uh, six linked trait. Here, I have a test for you. If you can see these numbers very well, you are not sick. I will test you now. Do you have... Uh, Color blindness or not? Salma, are you ready? This number, can you read in the left side? Yes. Can you read this number? There is a number yes. with colors. In. Yes, 45. Yeah, you have no color blindness. Mashallah. Now, the test for you, Rukai. Are you ready? The number inside this circle. 74. You are excellent. Alhamdulillah. We have no color blindness. Alhamdulillah. Because the color blindness depends on the, the person which you cannot differentiate between the red and the green color. Red and the green colors. Here, 45 here in red and the other dots in green. And 74 here in green and the other dots uh, in red. So if somebody have color blindness, he will not differentiate these numbers very well. So Alhamdulillah, we are good. We don't have color blindness. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So I will uh, end my session here and we'll continue, inshallah, the next session uh, about six influenced traits, inshallah. Thank you for uh, attendance. And inshallah, until we meet again, goodbye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.